So my testimony starts in around 2007. Um, it's been a bit of a process for me giving my life to Jesus. It wasn't just one encounter moment, so to speak. It was sort of a culmination of moments. But uh, when I was 26, I gave my life fully to Jesus um, when my, my first daughter was born. And But it was a bit of a, a, a process for me because... Um, I didn't grow up in church. My wife did. So we started going to church when we got together, but I was um, addicted to drugs, alcohol, living a sinful life. But it wasn't a moment where I reached a, a low point where I was crying out to God as, as, as a lot of people do. And, and a lot of people I've led to Christ, that's where they get. But for me, I, I, I don't want to say I was having fun in my sin, but I, I just wasn't in a point where I was looking for God. But I was in search of relationship. And one was with my, my, who my wife is now, but at the time she was my girlfriend. And so I was just kind of going to church following her. But um, but how do you know that the Lord has a way? And so he was drawing me in through that relationship. And ultimately, I would give my life to Christ years later, but I was very skeptical at first. And uh, even the Bible talks that uh, blessed is the one who believes but has not yet seen, speaking to the disciples. And so I was more of a, a, cynic, uh, a very cynical, more a skeptic. I need to see to believe. I need evidence. Uh, this just seems crazy. It was a far out idea because I had never grown up in church, never really heard the gospel before. But um but I could sense the Lord drawing me into relationship with him, even through my wife. I remember having different thoughts and wrestling with those thoughts. Why am I thinking this way? And so it was a bit of a, a progression for me. But even, um, I mean, even this verse, it's John 14, 6. It says that no one comes to the Father except by, through Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And uh, I remember having thoughts as an unbeliever to say, man, I really thought I was a good person. I thought on account of being a good person, I would go to heaven. And boy, was I mistaken. And, that, and that's one of the most common um, really missteps in society today is people think that they're going to go to heaven on account of being a good person. But no one is good. Even Jesus says no one is good but the Father. And so um, I was really misled in that. And, and it was just a mindset, you know, not knowing God, not knowing the, the, the gospel, not knowing Jesus personally, intimately. And, uh, and so, but it was a, a, a progression. We ended up getting connected into a church and then through that church, I got discipled and, and really came to find what it meant to be a believer. And so even some of the questions is, uh, how should they call on him who, who if they not believed? Uh, I was actually, you know, fixing a full, we're stepping into full-time ministry at, at a pastoral level. And I shared it today just a little while ago with a buddy of mine who actually was my formal business partner best friend and it's so unique because he's still not a believer we were unequally yoked in a business and God called me out of that but he remained close and he could see the mark of God on my life but never really understand what was happening and I would share it with him and share it with him and he's been able to watch my life unfold and really watch the power of God work through my life but he's still holding on to that that good nature that that thing that we think I'm good you know hey religion is your thing but just not really understanding there's a person whose name is Jesus behind this and I share that with him and I share that and I know that God is tender tenderizing his heart and making his heart receptive for the gospel and I, and I share it with him you know as the Holy Spirit leads me but I was that person at one time that didn't believe and so I remember the Lord being patient with me and so I'm learning to be patient with others and their journey but allowing my life to tell the story I told my wife the other day I said you know as we're laying our lives down to follow this call of God on our life I want our lives to be the asphalt that paves the way to Jesus for other people. And so that for me is a life laid down. And so that's really my testimony. And up to this point, you know, we're going to step in as full-time pastors. We're very excited. I've said it a few times. It's kind of the reality of it. It's just kind of taking shape in the last few days. But going from salvation to a call of ministry, there's so much in between there. But it's been a great journey, and I look forward to it. And I look forward to people like Mike, my best friend, growing up receiving Jesus in a real intimate way through my life. Lord, however it looks, however you do it, God use me in, in, in that in that context. And so yeah, appreciate you guys and uh see you next time.